WCNC-TV, Charlotte. This is Carolina's News Channel 36. We'll continue to do whatever is necessary to protect and restore the Gulf Coast. Top talk from the president. As far as I'm concerned, BP is responsible for this horrific disaster. It's a disaster now bigger than the Exxon Valdez two plus decades ago. Now, a new plan to plug all the oil gushing in the Gulf of Mexico may be working. New at 5, we're hearing from a local company involved in the cleanup. We're just really trying to bring a solution to the party that's safe, effective, and you know, cost-effective for everybody. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sonia Gant. And I'm Dave Wagner. Thousands of gallons of oil every second are spewing out of a hole roughly one mile below the surface of the Gulf of Mexico. This is a, a live picture of that right now. BP is pumping mud into that hole to try to stop this from happening. A lieutenant commander of the Coast Guard says that mud was stopping some oil, but it's not known yet if it's a success. Scientists say the spill, which has dumped anywhere between 19 million and 39 million gallons of oil in the Gulf of Mexico in the past few weeks, is now bigger than the Exxon Valdez spill more than 20 years ago. After weeks of working to fix the problem, President Obama spoke about the massive spill today. This is an area, by the way, where I do think our efforts fell short. When the initial estimates came of that there were, it was 5,000 uh, barrels spilling into the ocean uh, per day, people were working as hard as they could and doing the best that they could on this front. Today we got a new look at the effort off the coast to stop the spill. A number of heavy duty barges are in the area pumping mud into the hole as we showed you at the top of the newscast. And as they were hard at work, the president announced major new restrictions on drilling projects. We're going to be uh, ordering the following actions. First, we will suspend the planned exploration of two locations off the coast of Alaska. Second. We will cancel the pending lease sale in the Gulf of Mexico and the proposed lease sale off the coast of Virginia. Third, we will con continue the existing moratorium and suspend the issuance of new permits to drill new deep water wells for six months. President Obama is scheduled to visit the Gulf Coast region tomorrow to get a first-hand look at the situation. And that massive cleanup is expected to top $5 billion. And while the president is promising federal help, we found a local co company that's already involved in that oil spill cleanup effort. New at 5, News Channel 36 reporter Tony Burbeck investigates what the company is doing to help save the Gulf. The BP oil spill is now the United States' worst oil disaster, surpassing the Exxon Valdez spill in Alaska. Experts say as much as 39 million gallons of oil have poured into the Gulf off the Louisiana coast in the last two months. It's tragic. Cleanup will be lengthy and expensive. We're just really trying to bring a solution to the party that's safe, effective, and you know, cost-effective for everybody. That solution is a solution of enzymes and microbes called the BioRam 2000 oil digester produced right here in Matthews by Clift Industries. These letters from the state of Florida and Louisiana say it's approved for use in the oil oil spill cleanup. Vice President Matt Barnhill. We've already sent three truckloads, which is around 5,000 gallons. So of course the big question is just how does this work? Well, this is a combination of gas and oil, and no, it does not smell very good. So we'll pour a little bit on the table here, and we'll add the oil digester to it, and you can see pretty much starts working immediately, and what this product does is breaks the oil and gas down into water and CO2. Look closely and you can see the bubbling action and the oil disappearing. And it's really nature's way of cleaning up uh, contamination. Barnhill says the states are using it for beach and wetlands cleanup and can be used to clean waterfowl as well. They're getting ready to ship more for a cleanup experts describe as monumental. We expect this to go on for weeks and months. In Matthews, Tony Burbeck, News Channel 36. Interesting there. Uh, we may only be able to estimate the total amount of oil that has leaked into the Gulf of Mexico, but officials at the U.S. Geological Survey say the spill in the Gulf of Mexico is far larger than the Exxon Valdez disaster, which happened back in 1989. Here's a, a look at that spill right here. This one makes uh, this time the worst in the country's history. Uh, the president, by the way, scheduled to visit the Gulf Coast tomorrow to get a first-hand look at that oil spill. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to take you to Venice, Louisiana to get a first-hand look at how that cleanup effort is going. And one quick programming note here, because the president's news conference today, uh, today's episode of Days of Our Lives will be seen at its normal time tomorrow afternoon.